Hi, so today I'm going to be making a video about some of the scripts that I've made and essentially just showcasing them, talking about how they work and how they could fit into your own workflow. And just, you know, check it out. So the first script that I'm going to talk about is a script that I made to align nodes inside of the node view. So this can end up being important sometimes when you're organizing the node view for someone else to use or you're making a rig. So say you've got pegs here on different levels and you don't want to spend all your time kind of getting them on the same level. Say there's like a whole bunch of pegs. So just select all of them and then boom, they'll be on the exact same level same y-axis. It'll uh, save a lot of time fidgeting with uh, the nodes. I know that once I start using my mouse to organize things, the nodes will like slowly start organizing upward. <laughs> but um, yeah, helps with just keeping things clean, keeping, th keeping things looking straight as I like it. So, the next script that I'm going to talk about is a cutter inverter. So, if you're selecting a cutter, and you can just invert it with the press of a button. If you're selecting multiple cutters, you can invert those at the same time. Do, 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 do. If you want to you're testing things out with your cutters or you just want to invert them all at the same time it's pretty useful you could also select a whole bunch of nodes and it won't matter they'll still find the cutters in that selection so you can select a whole part of the rig and just invert all those cutters at the same time and the last part the last script I should say is a make all composites pass through script that I made so it'll go throughout the entire scene and make everything pass through you don't have to select any composites or anything like that it'll just go in and find all the composites itself which I just did and it'll even go inside groups so I mean there's not else to explain. All these composites are now passed through. Very useful when rigging because that's an important aspect in a lot of animation rigs. So that's that. I hope you enjoyed this video and my scripts. I'll add some links into the description talking about how to import a script and how to download these scripts, which is at my Gumroad page. Thank you.